So we're searching for something that you can only really appreciate after dark. We're searching for bioluminescent mushrooms. Here's one. Bioluminescence is the ability by living organisms to produce and emit light. And among mushrooms, there's actually quite a few species that can do this. And as you can see on the mushroom that I put on the leaf here, on the normal light, they don't look all that special, just small and pale looking. But it's when we turn the lights off that we see these guys glow for real. This light here is produced through a chemical reaction and what's happening inside of this mushroom is that a molecule called luciferin reacts with oxygen together with energy and an enzyme called luciferase, which speeds up the whole process. And there's energy produced in this reaction. And this energy excites electrons in the luciferin molecule. And this means that the electrons get a little bit more energy than normal. And when the electrons go back to their normal state, the extra energy is released as light. If you compare this light to a normal light bulb, the light that the mushroom emits is actually much more efficient. You see, the light bulb emits light because it gets really hot, but the mushroom doesn't get warm at all. In fact, almost all energy that is produced by this reaction is converted to light. Hence its nickname, cold light. Well, the light-emitting luciferin luciferase system is also found in many other organisms, but their molecular structures differ depending on the organism that we're looking at. In fact, most of the bioluminescent species on Earth are found in the water. This is probably due to the little or even no external light if we go deep down in the water. Many deep water creatures use light to hunt, to camouflage themselves and to communicate. The study of bioluminescent organisms has also led to major breakthroughs in science, like the 2008 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. In 2008, Martin Cholfi, Usami Shimimura and Rajit Sien were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the Green Fluorescent Protein, or GFP. The protein was isolated from a bioluminescent jellyfish and is since used as an important biological research tool, and it has led to the development of several other fluorescent proteins. GFP has been used for tagging uh, proteins mostly, so you can put different types of protein and then put the GFP onto the protein and then that way you can actually track them. It's like putting a red light bulb in front of Rudolph's nose. So then you can actually track where Santa Claus is going. And understanding where this particular protein is going to is important because then we will be able to understand their function. And then from understanding the function, we will know how to treat diseases, for instance. So remember, chemical reactions happen all the time, day and night. So now we're going to turn the lights off and look for some more glowing mushrooms. 